out. Very exciting day for all those celebrities and people who do good. Uh, because what do Simon Cowell, Len Goodman and Naomi Campbell have in common? Well, they're all celebrities that could be in line for an honour as part of the Queen's birthday celebrations. The honours will be published this evening. But first, let's speak to Mark Llewellyn Slade, who is a Queen's honours and royal titles expert. Hello, Mark. Morning, Trace. Oh, that's a great title. How did you become one of them? <laughs> Um, You spend a lot of time helping people get honours, I think the answer is, Trish. I think we've helped about 700 people now. So, um, yeah, if you do something enough times, you tend to get quite good at it. Very nice. I fancy the title Dame Trisha Duda at some point, so I'll be keeping your number. (laughs) It suits you, Trish. Oh, I think it's up to all the girls. There's a ring to it, doesn't it? Now, tell us us about it, because obviously we have the New Year's honours list, but this is obviously different. Give us, remind us of the background to this. Yeah, there's two honours lists each year, um, the New Year honours list, as you say, and also the Queen's birthday honours list, and it's her f- official birthday tomorrow. So the honours are given out twice a year. They go to around 2,000 people each year, so around 1,000 uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, and uh, another 1,000 at New Year. But when it comes to honours, we tend to think about famous actors and pop stars and sports supremos, several of which you mentioned earlier. But the vast majority of recipients are what I describe as extraordinary, ordinary people doing great work in the community or charity work, as well as outstanding philanthropists, entrepreneurs, doctors, academics. So there really is a diverse mix of people who get them. That's good. And good luck to everyone, uh, particularly from Coventry Watch. You've got any sneaky bits that you can tell us about? Is anyone from our neck of the woods going to get one? Oh, well, I've got a few people in mind. You mentioned a few. Um, I've got a few outside bets um, from overseas. Oprah Winfrey, for example, Elon Musk, the entrepreneur, even George Clooney and Lady Gaga. There you go. Uh, They're not very local. (laughs) In oh. fact, they couldn't be uh, any less local, but, but there's some big names to uh, to perhaps think about. What's Lady yeah. Gaga done that's got her in Oh, my list. word. Well, she's raised over $500,000 for the Haiti earthquake disaster. Oh, okay. She pledged a million dollars to the American Red Cross, for example. Oh, okay. So these are um, things that you don't necessarily hear, for, hear about. Oh, gosh, yeah. She's got her own foundation, yeah, absolutely. And uh, she pledged $1.2 million to her own foundation when she launched it. And what difference does it make to people's lives? Not the celebrities, because they're rich and loaded anyway, and they've got loads of publicity. But normal, everyday people, what difference does it make when they get an honour like this? I think it will raise their profile. It will enhance their reputation. It will instil trust, of course, that vital ingredient for success in all walks of life. I think most importantly, though, it will motivate those people to go on to even greater things. Because lots of people get, say, a, a slightly lower level honour to start with, and maybe five, ten years later, get upgraded because it spurred them on to do more and more good stuff. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it it's really is a carrot, and, and it does encourage people to, to really knuckle down and do more. I need to do more. I've got to do more voluntary. I do. I want to become a dame. I want to become a dame. So, come on, Mark Llewellyn Slade. I'll give myself ten years, yes? I'll crack on with it now, Trish, and we might have it sorted by half past ten tonight <laughs> when, we, when the list comes out. Wonderful. Thanks very much, Mark. Lovely speaking to you. Take